since Emma and I have been coming to Calgary for nine months. I guess the thoughts of God, I never dismissed the idea of God. I, I would pray as a kid, but it was kind of just, if you're there, then I'm just talking to somebody who I didn't yeah, really have a connection with. I guess before I came to church, I was yeah, extremely scared of the future. It was, I liked having control over my life and what the next step was going to be. And the future was an unknown thing. And so, yeah, that, that fear of the unknown really scared me. I don't know, I kind of deliberately tried to step my life out and just have everything organized in front of me so I knew what was coming, rather than just kind of living in the moment. Um, it's probably, probably that transition from school to uni. I, yeah, just didn't, wasn't finding friends at uni and wasn't connecting with people. Like after my first year, I was like, oh, maybe I have like two good friends that I made in that whole year. And um, so yeah, just was l just lacking that community that I had at school and I really, really miss that. So I came to Calvary. Um, Dan, my brother, has been coming here with Jen. He's been here forever. Um, yeah, he had been hanging out with his friends and stuff and they were a great bunch of people and so that was kind of finding those friends that I didn't find at uni. And so it was like, I was sitting out on the back deck one day just doing my study and he goes, get a text from him and he's like, Em, you're coming to church with us tonight, woohoo! And I was like, um, okay, I have an assignment due but I don't think I could miss up an opportunity like Go. that. Hi, welcome to church. First impression was, everybody was so friendly, basically. <laughs> Yeah, um, yeah, get the hellos at the doors and everything and it's like they know you but you don't know them and it's just like this instant connection but you don't even know how because you just met them. Over the summer break I had been doing a bit of work experience up at Luther Heights just looking into my specific kind of thing and met this guy called Chris up there and he was in like the most genuine nice work ever and so yeah he prayed for me and yeah it was a really strong prayer and I just saw so much of God in him and so from then on I kind of was like yeah this relationship thing with God is actually real and it comes out of people and so I'd been reading my Bible and stuff and coming to church but it wasn't until Easter Sunday that I actually got the courage to chuck my hand up in church. So. The difference God has made in my life, um, I'm not so scared of the future anymore, I know that God has a plan for me and I don't have to have that fear there because He's, he's got that planned out for me. And it's not an unknown to him, even though it might be for me at present. Yeah, so feeling disconnected from not having that school community, going into uni and then finding church community, that's made such a difference because, yeah, you just surrounded so by so many people and you just feel like you know them, even though you may not, you've got that sense of community there. It's just so good. And so Jesus is important to me because He's like that constant person you can lean back on every day, every minute of your life. Um, yeah, he just feels like, makes me feel full and, and not alone, basically. Even if I am alone, in that sense, I'm not lonely. And that's why God has been so good to me.